do you see riding across the USA? Well, who camps out on the open range and who stays warm by the campfire flames? Drinking their whiskey straight from the jug, shooting their guns because it's the life that they love. Well, tell me who are the modern cowboys of today? The cowboy had a coat to protect his own. Wherever the cowboy camp was a cowboy's home. Well, who still sleeps with a gun in his hand? Hey, everybody, we're back. Simply Southern Recipes by Rocket City Curls. I'm Elisa Rogers and today we're going to do a Stillwell fish fry. My cousin Chuck Stillwell caught some brim and some shell cracker. Um, he filleted it for me, got it ready. We like it, you know, they're such small fish, but little fillets like this go perfect with some french fries and some hush puppies and we're going to make some summer coleslaw to go with it. Um, so let's get started. We got a half of a cup of flour. We're going to do an egg wash, and we got a half a cup of cornmeal. Now, to get started, we have to add some seasoning. So, that gets a teaspoon of seasoned salt, as does the cornmeal. And Old Bay. Well, that didn't want to go down in there. So I have to use a half of one. But, teaspoon Old Bay in each one. teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Then we mix it all up. I've got my oil heat now, and of course, we do it in a cast iron skillet. That's the best way to do it. You will not regret it. Alright, now, got one egg in here and added a little milk, probably about. I would say a fourth of a cup of milk. Mix this up real good. Oop. I'm so messy. Okay. So, what we do is we put our fish into the flour like this then we drop it into the egg wash like that and into the cornmeal it goes and this is some good eating right here so we're going to finish these up and we'll be back in a minute We've got all the fish battered, and we're just going to start dropping it in, one at a time. And we will cook this probably about a minute and a half to two minutes each. 
until golden brown. And then we're going to put it over here on this plate that we've got lined with paper towels. So we'll finish this up. We'll be back in a minute. Hi everybody. Our fish is fried. Now we're going to make some tartar sauce to go with it. Homemade. Four heaping tablespoons of your favorite mayo. You will need two heaping teaspoons of sweet pickle relish. You will need a little black pepper to taste. A little garlic powder to taste. A little thyme. Same thing. It's lemony to taste. Now, we have minced up some onion. And I would say that was a good heaping tablespoon of an onion. a little more onion. Oh yeah, we got it going on now. All right, there's our tartar sauce. Next, we're gonna cut up some french fries. So, we're gonna set this to the side. Whoops. Got a big bacon potato here. that I wanted, but it'll be all right. It's just me and my husband, so one of these potatoes will be perfect. I'm putting them in a colander because I rinse the excess starch off of my potatoes. They fry better. Nothing fancy about these potatoes at all. I just fry them and then I sprinkle them with a little seasoned salt. That's it. But let me finish these potatoes up and then we'll be back in a second to start our hush puppies. Our, cook our french fries in our fish grease and uh, we leave the skin on we like it and as soon as these get a little bit more brown we're going to take them up and cover them in se seasoned salt and uh, serve them next to our fish and that's it and let's get started on our hush puppies all right we got a cup of Cornmeal mix, not regular cornmeal, cornmeal mix because you want it to pluff, pump up, pluff up. And one tablespoon of flour. You can use plain or self rising, it really doesn't matter. Minced onions, very important. A heaping tablespoon 
minced of an onion. Sorry, I can hardly talk tonight. Um, let's see. I sprinkle a little garlic in mine, just a little, right on the top, a little extra oomph, and where is my egg? One egg, oh, we don't want that, and we really don't want that. And what we want, we don't want a runny consistency at all. I add just a little milk. And I'll show you the consistency. It needs to be like a cake batter. And that's the consistency we're going for. That right there. Now, it's going to thicken up more because what I'm going to do is stick it in the refrigerator and let it set for about 25 minutes. During that time, I'll finish up the rest of my french fries, clean up a little bit, and get ready to start making the coleslaw. Right, everybody since the hush puppies are setting up in the refrigerator uh, we're gonna go ahead and do our coleslaw it's summer coleslaw actually so we start off with a half a head of cabbage small head of cabbage go ahead and we're using our handy dandy um, food processor Didn't cut it small enough. Okay, that's the half a head of cabbage. Next is bell pepper. English cucumber. And carrot. Okay, let's get this all in a bowl. All right, we've got half a head of a small, or half of a small head of cabbage in here, a half of a big green bell pepper, one large carrot, and a half of an English cucumber. Now, I also have half of a medium onion minced. I'm putting that in here. This coleslaw is so good. Okay. Then 
a little pepper because we like things a little spicy. And celery salt. This is substituting for regular salt. Adds a little mm -mm. There we go. Now, mayonnaise. Get it all stirred up. And there's our coleslaw. Next, hush puppies. Alright everybody, now we're fixing to make our hush puppies. Got us a glass of water with a big tablespoon in it. Got our oil set to medium high heat. What we do is we come and we drop like that. Rinse your um, spoon off every time. I'm only going to do like three at a time. And I have a spider. So. I'll just throw some of those hush puppies. In with our fish that's ready here. Instead of dirtying up another plate. That's the color you want it, a nice golden brown. Let me get the rest of these done and then we'll fix ourselves a plate. Our meal is done, we cannot wait to eat. Get me a little of this fresh homemade tartar sauce for my fish, set it right there couple of homemade hush puppies, handful of fries, couple of these little fillets, I think about four should do me, some coleslaw, And some fresh sliced tomato. There we go. Now that's about as southern as it gets right out of our Gunnersville Lake. Hope y'all come back and join us again soon for the next most southern recipe in the world.